Hello, welcome to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce point of sale uh, system. And in the previous video, we just showed you the workflow at the agent's end, how agents would be able to make use of the point of sale terminal within the physical retail outlets that you have and how they can process the cards there using the POS terminal itself. So in this particular uh, part two of this uh, video, we'll be showing you how the admin would be able to set up the WooCommerce point of sale system from the admin backend panel and uh, the different options that are there for the admin to configure. So what I'll be doing is I'll just take you to the admin backend panel for the same and let's go through each of those options one by one. So right now I'm at the uh, backend of the WooCommerce uh, store right now. So I'll be entering my username and password to log into my admin account panel. And uh, after login, uh, so I've already logged in now. So uh, after you successfully installed this particular plugin, uh, the web store admin would be able to find the point of sale uh, menu option on the left hand side panel as you can see. And under the point of sale system, the admin would be able to make use of the different sub options that are the users that uh, allow the admin to create the different, uh, uh, what we say as the POS uh, terminal users or the uh, cashiers. Uh, the admin can create different outlets, can check the different products that have been assigned to the various outlets. The orders that have been uh, placed through the point of sale system, so at your physical stores, you can also check the reports and and add a settings option at the last. So uh, after you uh, properly install this particular plugin, you need to do some initial configuration because before you're making use of the these options that are at the top, that's the users, outlets, orders, and reports. So uh, to access the initial uh, settings, you just need to tap here on the settings uh, option. So uh, let me open that up in the uh, other window here. And that brings up uh, the configuration settings for the point of sale system, as you can see here. So uh, you can configure the point of sale system in two ways. One is manually. Otherwise, if you wish to run the uh, POS wizard, then you can basically tap here on the uh, setup wizard. So how do you make use of the setup wizard? Uh, you can do one thing. You can access the user guide uh, link that I've attached within the description of this uh, particular video. And from there, you can basically access how we can set up the POS using the uh, setup wizard itself. So as right now, I'm not having that much administrative rights. Uh, so that's why I won't be able to show you the setup wizard. So the rest of the things I'll be just showing you up uh, what different settings are there. So basically there are four different uh, tabs here. One is the general settings for the POS itself. Then we have the customer settings, uh, wherein now uh, we'll be able to set up the customer details and the customer address. Then we have the payment tab. And under the payment tab, the admin can add uh, multiple payment methods uh, that he can then assign to any of uh, uh, can then he can assign for uh, the customers so that uh, they can basically uh, be able to make use of that particular payment method uh, at your physical store and uh, the uh, POS guy or the POS uh, cashier would be able to choose that particular payment method for the customer there. And lastly, we have the POS mass assign option. So basically from here, the admin would be able to mass assign the uh, product quantity to all of the uh, products that are there within the uh, WooCommerce store. Apart from that, we'll also uh, be showing how uh, basically the master stock can be set up and uh, how the uh, quantity can be set up in bulk as well. So let's go through each of these options one by one. So I'll first take you to the general settings. And on the general settings, uh, we have different options that we need to configure. Uh, we also have the uh, web app settings because this is our web-based uh, point of sale system. So we'll be able to set up the web app settings. And uh, we can also set up the uh, media icons that would be visible to the uh, at the uh, uh, POS terminal there. And uh, now let's go through each of these options. So the very first option that we are having here is uh, the API username and the API password. Now, uh, so before we go through, uh, through these options here, let me show you how uh, the setup wizard uh, looks like and how you can configure that using the uh, user guide itself. So you can see that uh, after we have activated the plugin, uh, we'll be able to set up the uh, uh, wizard. Uh, using the wizard, we can set up the settings here or otherwise we can skip the uh, setup as well. So here you can see that we have the setup wizard after tapping that up. We can see the uh, 
the setup wizard uh, automatically setting up as it redirects uh, the admin to the uh, wizard configuration page as you can see right now and uh, uh, and the admin would be able to find the begin wizard uh, menu option and the admin just needs to tap here on the uh, option that's the uh, let's go and thereafter the admin can uh, start uh, setting up the api username password select the master or the select the inventory type for the uh, point of sale system and uh, the different uh, options for the web-based browsers like like the name of uh, the uh, uh, initial login page the short name the theme color and the background color then he can go to the general settings then the web app settings then the default customer and lastly we'll be ready with our pos system so here also you can see that we can create the uh, outlets as well and import the outlet as well uh, using the wizard itself so uh, that was how we can run the uh, setup wizard uh, to help us uh, set up the uh, WooCommerce uh, point of sale system itself. So uh, now let's go back uh, to the general settings and uh, now let's uh, see what different options were there. So uh, I've told you we have API username and the API password. So uh, the username can be anything. Uh, it depends upon your requirement. You can set it as uh, you want. And this uh, particular username is basically used to connect to the website uh, basically. So the POS uh, API would be able to access the uh, uh, what we say as the uh, website itself and then we have the API password. So this will be actually the password for the connection to the API and this can be anything just uh, used to connect our POS APIs with this tool itself. Then we have POS uh, heading, uh, heading login. So basically this would uh, be visible to the sales agent while logging into the, uh, into the POS uh, terminal itself. Then we have POS photo text first line. So the admin can basically mention uh, the photo text of the invoice receipt, and that would be visible within that uh, invoice receipt itself. Then we have the POS uh, photo text second line. So basically, uh, here you can set up the uh, second uh, line for the POS photo text, and that would also be visible uh, to the customers uh, within the uh, uh, respective invoices that have been generated uh, at your uh, physical retail outlets using the uh, POS terminal. You can also set up the brand name for the uh, for the footer section. You can say, uh, set up the brand link for the footer section as well. You can select the inventory type as master inventory or centralized stock inventory. Apart from that, the admin can set up the default product status for the all outlets, whether they should be enabled or disabled. So as soon as the uh, uh, products are assigned uh, to the outlets, at that time do you want to set them as disabled or enabled? Uh, then we have the enable unit price feature. So basically uh, this can be enabled or disabled and the admin can enable this field to allow the selling of products according to the weight in the outlet if the product is having any type of a weight there. Then we have enable meals at POS end and we have the option to enable or disable. So basically uh, uh, enabling this field will uh, allow the admin uh, and the customers to receive the mails when a customer places the order uh, or the agent places the order. Then we have type of orders at the POS, uh, at the POS end. So basically we can set them as online offline. Uh, what 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 type of orders do you want to place at your POS terminal? Do you want to have them online uh, or offline? So it totally depends upon your own uh, requirement there. And uh, this basically allows uh, the admin to set the uh, type of orders that can be placed uh, within the POS terminals at the physical outlets. So basically, if uh, I choose this as online, uh, then uh, the admin can make uh, or can set the online auto sync of the orders so whenever the order is placed uh, within your peers uh, physical store it automatically gets synchronized with the web store as well at that very moment otherwise you can choose this uh, field is offline and that would uh, allow quick processing of the orders and then the uh, store then the physical outlet uh, cashier would be able to synchronize it from the peers terminal itself and lastly we have the quantity for the low stock warning and uh, here the admin basically needs to mention the maximum product quantity to display a lower stock message after that uh, we have the invoice logo as you can see here so you can upload the image from this button here and this is another brand field basically and here the admin enters the logo of his organization that would be reflecting in the invoice itself then we have uh, the 
code you see has the web app uh, settings and here the admin just needs to set up the uh, name and the short name of the app as visible in the uh, web application and uh, after that we have the short name we have set that as well then we can choose the theme and the background color these two different options for the application for the uh, web app uh, POS and lastly we have the media section and this contains all of the app icons in the different dimensions as you can see right now and uh, from here the admin can save this up as well so that was about the uh, general settings to uh, how to connect to the uh, web uh, app and how we can set up the POS header footer, footer links, how we can set up the name for the footer section, select the inventory type as master stock or the centralized one, how we can uh, set the product status for the author, whether they should be enabled or disabled, the unit price feature for the product having the weight, and uh, we have chosen to enable the mails at the POS end as well. And to set, we have also seen how we can set up the type of orders at the POS end, whether they should be online or offline. Offline allows a faster way of um, making the orders and online basically syncs the orders as soon as they are placed with the new physical retail, retail uh, POS uh, terminals. Uh, you can also set up the quantity for low stock warning. Now let's go to the customer settings and uh, under the customer settings basically the admin can add the POS wizard of the default customer as uh, he, uh, from here itself. So basically uh, you can set up the uh, default uh, uh, customer for the POS that would be displayed in the uh, tab and um, for that you just need to enter the first name, last name, email, password, telephone, customer address and tap on the update customer. So this uh, customer would be uh, the uh, default customer at the POS end so that uh, the uh, cashier can select that up for processing an order. Then we have the uh, payment methods or the payment section here the admin can add the payment methods uh, for the uh, POS uh, terminals. Uh, he can enable, disable or delete them as well, uh, singly as well as in multi-selection multi as well. So uh, these methods are basically visible at the time of checkout to the sales agent and uh, to add a new uh, payment method just tap here on the add new button and that will bring up the section where the admin can enter the details like the payment name, the payment slug, payment description and status whether it's enabled or disabled and then just tap here on the save payment button and the payment would be uh, the payment method would be saved and uh, lastly we have the uh, master sign option and uh, here the admin can enter the quantity default quantity of the products so for example if uh, there's a product p1 with a stock value of 100 in the woocommerce store and you have two different outlets outlet one and outlet two and you assign the the product p1 to these two outlets so for example if you configure the value uh, say 20 for the uh, field uh, into quantity uh, then the 20 of the product uh, p1 will be assigned to both the outlets automatically apart from that uh, the enter quantity field basically bulk assigns the uh, default product stock to the uh, to the pos outlets and enables the pos assigned products automatically so uh, this allows the master stock the, of the product P1 to become 140 because we have assigned 20 to one outlet, 20 to other outlet. And the uh, main was uh, the uh, P, uh, the main stock was 100. So that's how we can set up the uh, master stock and uh, basically the POS master assigned for the uh, POS uh, products. So that was uh, the configuration, initial configuration before making use of this particular POS web app at the front end. And we've also shown in the previous video how uh, we can make use of that. Now let's go to the different options that we have here. So under the users, the admin would be able to uh, basically create uh, different users for the uh, POS outlets. And from here, the admin can activate or deactivate any of the created PS users. So to add a new PS user, just tap here on the add new button at the top. And that brings up the uh, section wherein the admin can enter the username, select the outlet where you want to assign this particular uh, cashier to. Then you can set up the first name, last name, email of this uh, cashier. And apart from that, the admin can upload the profile pic for the uh, for the agent as well. And uh, the password field is auto, auto uh, generated here. And then you can choose the status for this particular agent as enabled or disabled. So whenever you are creating a new user, the password is automatically set up there. So no need to uh, enter your password there. Uh, or to create a new one 
So that was about how the admin can check the uh, complete list of uh, users that he has created and can add more users and can assign those users to different or, uh, outlets that are there. Now let's go to the outlets uh, section and from here the admin can basically create the different uh, outlets with their outlet address and their uh, status. Apart from that the admin can check the outlet reports by tapping here on the uh, uh, under the column that is the report column the outlet report uh, button and uh, the admin can activate deactivate or delete any of the uh, created uh, outlets the admin can basically import the outlet list as well so uh, if he has already created uh, a list within the uh, csv file for that just, he just needs to tap here on the import button to add a new outlet just tap here on the add new button at the top and that brings up the add outlet for the pfc user section here you just need to uh, set the outlet name the address the status for the outlet the city state postcode the country code and the end additional payment methods that would be available so from here you can uh, choose the uh, methods that the admin has basically added from the uh, backend as uh, we have already shown you so that was about this and after you save this particular uh, outlet by tapping the save outlet button uh, you'll be able to see this particular outlet here under this section and what happens is that after saving you need to again go to that particular outlet and you can basically tap here on the edit button and that would then show you the manage product section for that particular uh, POS apart from that here you can see that the uh, the products that have been assigned to this particular POS with the status under the POS status column and the assigned POS stock as well on the right hand side so that ha that's how we can do that and uh, we can enable or disable any of the products for that particular uh, outlet let's go to the product section now here uh, under the product POS product section the admin can basically see all of the products uh, and uh, along with their image the outlet name the price uh, the uh, total quantity the status and can also see the barcodes as well so basically under this section so here under this uh, section we have uh, all of the uh, uh, products uh, that are being associated with uh, our store so the admin can also generate the barcodes for the products and these products can then be added by the uh, to the cart uh, during the checkout process by the POS agent and uh, you can also generate the uh, 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 what we see as the barcodes by tapping here on the print barcode and that brings up uh, the number of barcode slips that you want to uh, basically uh, up, may, uh, generate the uh, print for and uh, accordingly you can set the quantity for each of them as well so uh, the uh, what we say as the barcodes are generated for uh, for the uh, for the simple products there now let's go and let's check uh, how we can do that for the uh, uh, what you say is the variable product so if, for example we have this example here we, where we are having this uh, product that's the uh, ship your idea to so we can tap here to generate the barcodes and we can also set up the variation stock for each to tap barcode you can see the different variations are also visible here and from here you can see the uh, barcodes that have been generated so that can be set by the admin from the back end whether you want to generate the barcodes by the product ID or the SKU and from here you can tap here on the print barcode to print the barcodes for the particular variation products as well so that was about the products now let's go to the orders section and let's see what different options are there uh, also let me uh, take you once again back to the products and let's see how we can uh, master stock uh, management can be done so for that we can choose all of the products and from the bulk actions uh, basically so uh, I'm sorry for that uh, for uh, basically setting up the master stock management we'll go through uh, WooCommerce and uh, sorry for that we'll go to products and then all products and this would display all of the products within our WooCommerce web store then from here you can check all of the products and from the uh, bulk actions you just need to tap here on the edit and then apply and this would bring up the bulk edit for the products then you can basically set the master stock here under the product data so you can change to and then you can set up the master stock for each of the products there and then you can basically tap here on the update button and that would set up the uh, master stock for each of the products that are there within your web store 
and uh, now let's go to the uh, point of sale system and orders section so here the admin can see the uh, orders according to he can also basically filter the orders according to the uh, outlets as well and uh, after that he can see the different uh, orders that have been placed uh, with the total their status the quantity and the customer name as well and uh, the admin can also see the details of any of the orders that have been placed uh, within the uh, physical stores using the POS terminal so you can see the details as well as you can see here and uh, now let's go to the report section and basically here the, uh, here, the, here the admin would be able to see the POS reports according to orders, customers, stock and tax, tax. Apart from that, you can choose the payment method. According to that, uh, the orders would be displayed. For example, if I choose cash and I select my outlet, I tap on the apply button and this will generate the uh, required, uh, what we say as the detailed report for the same. Uh, apart from that, you can just go to the customer uh, tab and then according to that, you can also uh, filter out your details for the uh, previous reports. And same goes for the stock section and the tax section as well. So that was about how we can set up the re reports. Now again to the outlets, uh, you can import uh, the outlet list as well. To do so, you just need to tap here on the import button and uh, this uh, option comes up that's the uh, uh, wizard and from here you need to upload the CSV file from your computer you can also download that by tapping here on the sample file link and you can see that the sample outlet has uh, been downloaded now let me open that up so I'll just choose my delimiter as the comma and that would bring up the uh, CSV file and here you can see that we can set up the ID for your uh, outlets you can set the outlet name outlet address outlet status outlet city state postal code and the country for each of the uh, outlets that you want to create in bulk at the same time now after that you just need to update uh, or upload this particular file once again under this section here that's the choose file option so that was how we can import outlets from a CSV file as well. So apart from that, under the outlets, the admin can also directly log into the POS system by tapping here in the POS button. And that displays the uh, front end terminal for the uh, point of sale systems uh, within your retail outlets. So this is a web-based uh, POS system as you can see. And from here, the uh, uh, cashier can also log into his particular account by tapping here on the login button. So uh, that was how directly we can go to the POS login section from the admin backend panel as well. So uh, that was much about the uh, backend configuration for the uh, WooCommerce point of sale system by Webcool and I hope it helped you out. And uh, if you still have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin, then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or uh, you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvs.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.